Sim nerve is a simulation of the classical nerve experiment, which is done since many, many years in uh, physiological uh, causes. I contributed to the programming of this sim series. I was responsible for the physiological background, for the physiological correctness of the programs. This was some years ago when uh, we had a lot of discussions with students who didn't want to do these experience, experiments with animals. And finally we decided it's uh, no longer possible to do these experiments and uh, we thought about alternatives. Sim nerve consists of uh, three parts, wetlands, preparation and experiments. Wetlands is just for introducing the students into the program. It shows pictures of frogs and you can also listen to the sound. The second part are video sequences of the preparations of the frog's nerve. The third part is the main part which presents a lab with all the devices that are necessary to do the experiments with two nerves which I can place and stimulate again recording electrodes and then can stimulate the nerve and uh, do the experiments as in the real lab. When the students are doing the experiments with the real nerve, they always are anxious that they are doing something wrong and the nerve is destroyed and they had again to prepare a frog and to use a, another nerve and so on. And with the simulation program, they really can try to do this and this is what uh, makes uh, learning by doing and what makes learning more effective. Uh, Let's go to a single stimulus to demonstrate a different effect, which also shows one of the main advantages of uh, such a program. You can use this thread to tie off the nerve at every place you want. When you tie off it here between the stimulating and the recording electrodes, the uh, action potential will not read the recording electrodes, and what happens should be a zero line without any action potential. And now you can do what you cannot do in the real experiment. You can put the thread away and uh, the nerve again will respond as before. Well, on one of these uh, urinary conferences, uh, I was, uh, there was a demonstration of an early version of the SimNerve program. And I was lucky enough to get a copy of this program. I was allowed to use it before it was, uh, I mean, in, in generally sold. So I introduced it to the students and uh, my de department, and it was, it was um, very successful. I mean, everyone liked it, because it's a very powerful program. I myself was very surprised how good it works. In some parts, it might even be better than as a real experiment. I highly recommend this equipment to universities. Both we teachers and the students are very content with the results. As soon as you save time, as you have a setup that saves you time, then you will also save money. You can compress your schedule, you can do more experiments in, in one day, in one week, etc. So that's definitely a, a money saving aspect in it. Biopack is a sort of combination of measuring equipment with which you can measure a lot of things depending on how you set it up. We use it for the students to measure nerve conduction velocity on themselves. It can also be used to measure various other parameters. It really has a lot of possibilities. First we put uh, electrodes on the uh, underarm of students. So we put one at the elbow and one just uh, beneath the hand and then we stimulate at the elbow and we uh, registrate the evoked nerve impulse just beneath the hand that electrode and then we can visualize these uh, nerve impulses on the data screen. The combination of sim nerve and biopack has fallen very well out with the students and they, they see, they, they see uh, the advantages with first doing uh, all sort of uh, adjustments, etc., on the similar program, and then they, they can take that experience with them to the biopack equipment. I think the uh, pedagogic value of this equipment is that is the great advantage. <laughs>